How's it going everyone? Ed here with Davis Pickleball and today I'm going to be reviewing the brand new Selkirk Lux Control Air. Now this is a paddle that's going to be stirring a lot of hype in the pickleball community because Selkirk recently signed none other than Jack Sock onto their team which is huge because he was an amazing tennis player and this right here is his paddle of choice. I'm going to be doing an in-depth review. I'm going to share with you my first impressions. I'm going to give you all the specs and more importantly, I'm going to give you all the comparisons between this and the Labs 3. We have the Power Air and we even have the Labs 5. There's so many paddles that look and feel very similar to this but I'm gonna do my best to kind of give you my personal inside scoop and impressions on what makes this different and whether or not I like this paddle. So buckle up, let's get right into it. For this video, I will only be focusing on the Invicta as this is a shape that most pros will prefer due to the elongated shape. However, it is worth mentioning that this paddle does also come out in the Epic and S2 shape, which will be more suitable for players looking for a larger sweet spot. I'll be releasing another video detailing the differences between each paddle in a future video. Make sure you're subbed with notifications on so you never miss a video. First, let's go over some specs and tech rundown of the Lux paddle. For this video, I will only be reviewing the Invicta shape. The price for this paddle is $250. You can use my promo code adv davispickball to get a $30 Selkirk gift card, which is good for any future purchases and goes to help support the channel. The paddle comes in three colors, red, blue, and gold. The paddle weight range comes in between 7.8 to 8.1 ounces. It has a grip circumference of 4 and 1 quarter inches, which is identical to the Power Air series. The handle length is 5.35 inches, which is notable because it's slightly longer than the Power Air Invicta. The face material is made of a new surface material that Selkirk is calling Florec Carbon Fiber. They claim that this material has shown to expand the sweet spot on their paddles. The core material is Thick Set Honeycomb, which was a technology that Selkirk derived from the Lab 003 meaning that the core thickness of this paddle is 20 millimeters, much like the Labs 3. The edge guard has been upgraded with what Selkirk is calling the Aero Dura Edge, which they're claiming has improved the impact resistance of the edges. The paddle is indeed thermofoamed, which for those of you who don't know what that means, it basically means they've injected a special foam across the perimeter of the inside of the paddle, which significantly increases the sweet spot and reduces vibration. And lastly, the paddle is assembled in the US with a limited lifetime warranty. All right, now let's actually go out and test this thing. All right, so here we are at the courts. We're going to do a test with the Lux. Now I devised a little setup to test all the different shots that we want to test. So we're going to be hitting 10 serves, 10 returns, 10 thirds, so either a drop or a drive. And then we're gonna hit 10 blocks. So basically I'm gonna have Nick fire 10 lightning bolts at me. I'm gonna see how well this does at deflecting the ball. And then we're gonna go to the kitchen and do some kitchen play stuff. So we're gonna get the full picture of how this paddle performs. Now I also brought the different paddles. Nick here has the Invicta, we got the Labs 3, and we have the Labs 5. Just because I know these paddles are super similar to this one, we just kind of want to get a feel for what is the difference and is this an upgrade or is this just a different paddle than these three paddles? Um, of course, we will be using the new Pro S1 Selkirk balls, which we're really excited for. Make sure you watch our other video on the review for these balls as well. So, let's get into it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, no. Finally got them. Oh, man. <laughs> you can swing massive through that, yeah. Oh, oh, it's a lot of, yeah. lot of You can really just let that. loose. Feels just like a tennis racket. Yeah, it's oh, crisp as well. That's speed. That's good, yeah. Those are sailing, huh? Let's go way out. That one felt good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is a tennis track. That's, that's on the line. Yeah, that's good. Wow. Yeah, that's crisp. Lost spin. That is. I like it. I don't feel a lot of uh, shake. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's yeah. I, feels, I I could really 
You can swing. I could punch more because yeah. I'm not afraid of it bouncing yeah. too much. <sighs> oh, that's um, I can, wow. I can take a big swing with this. Yeah, you can. <sighs> yeah, it's interesting on the blocks because you can't just leave the paddle there. You have to give it Push some as well. Bit. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Big swing. So nice for ground. Wow. Oi. The volley dinks feel really good on it. Oh, really? Just crisp? Like that? Yeah. It's like not popping. Yeah, very, very push. And then we use some. There you go. That very maneuverable. Yeah. Oh, yeah, nice. Well, yeah, that feels, that feels buttery. Oh. oh, you had me there. You totally had me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, super maneuverable. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, nice. Big yeah. swing, yeah. Be very yeah. liberal with your yeah. movements. Yeah, it's still lightweight. Oh, it's so fast. It's <laughs> yeah, like, it's just yeah. really easy to flick it. And yeah. Minute, yeah, it plows through the ball. Okay, so we just uh, did a whole bunch of drilling with this. Nick, why don't you go first? What did you, let's start with the drive, uh, okay. serves. Yeah, what so did you feel about the serves? The serves, it just felt like I could absolutely just let loose with this paddle. It felt like I kind of had a tennis racket in my hand, which I know sounds crazy because this is pickleball, but I could absolutely let go with it, put all my power through it, really swing through. And what I really found interesting was it was really creating a nice arc on the ball as well, yep. more so than I've seen with other paddles, which was very interesting to me. And uh, yep. how did you feel with this as well? Well, you're, you come from tennis, so like as a high level tennis player, it makes a lot of sense that Jack Sock chooses this paddle exactly, for his. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because I feel like with the, a stiffer paddle, a lot of balls are just going way out for yeah. tennis players. Mm -hmm. But I noticed with this on the serves is it has really nice dip to it. Yeah. It wasn't going as deep as like, you know, if I was hitting on my labs, but it was getting a really insane amount of dip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine if like, if I had like a more of a tennis background, had a stronger forehand, that's going deeper yeah. on the line, which is what you were doing to me. You were yeah. hitting some bullets that are going right on the line. Yeah. So I felt when I was receiving your serves with this, like they felt, very challenging. I couldn't get a good return yeah. off of it. Yeah, so much arc on this paddle. I think a lot of tennis players are going to favor this. Uh, how did you feel about the drops on this one? So the drops, I felt like I needed to adjust to it because I'm coming from a lab six where, you know, that's a thermoformed paddle, a bit more stiff. So I had to take off a little bit more off of my drops. But for this one, I felt like I had to put a little bit more. So I think I'd like to test it out more and experiment more with hitting a little bit harder, adding a little bit more top spin, because this gives great spin. And then I think the drops will be really dialed in. But I noticed when I was hitting drops, for the first time I was hitting the bit short. Did you feel the same way? Yeah, yeah, I saw that as well. I mean, I hit the first few in the net and it does take a tiny bit to adjust to it. But I mean, comparing it to the power in Victor Vanga's here is, with this one, you feel like you kind of have to suppress everything a little bit more on the swings. Yep. You have to be really be gentle, but with this one, it allows you to swing through on the drops yep. and really, you know, craft the ball and really be able to just, you know, guide it with your arm and things like that. Right. Did you feel the same way? Yeah, absolutely. I felt like with this paddle, I would describe it as like very maneuverable and I could craft my shots a little bit more yep. just because it's softer. I could, it feels like I'm just tossing it out of my hand versus if I'm hitting with the power air. But the power air is like boom, yep. <laughs> yeah. where I really have to either hit low drives fast yeah. or, you know, take a little bit off. Yeah, and although it does look a little bit thicker and heavier, yeah. that is in terms of swing weight and how it feels in the hands, it feels completely maneuverable. Yeah. A lot more so than some of the other paddles that we've got here. Mm -hmm. It feels really lightweight. You can get it into the right spot in the right time. Hand speed feels really good with this paddle. Yeah, that's one thing I noticed when we were at the kitchen doing yeah. our little play. When I went for my wrist flicks on my lap six, I would notice like a tension on my wrist yeah. when I do it. But this one felt like I did my flick and it was like, 
out of yeah. my hand already. It just goes. So yeah. maybe the lap six actually trained me up for this paddle. Yeah, maybe <laughs> so, But yeah. I felt my flicks felt quite nice. Yeah. And with flicks, you don't need a lot of power. You want more of the surprise of element. Yeah, precision. I feel like yeah. this definitely Getting gives. Getting that angle, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you feel about the returns on this? Returns felt good as well. I mean, similar to the serves, I could just kind of swing through it and guide it and know that I'd be comfortable swinging through it as well. With a lot of the other paddles, you know, especially with maybe the Invicta or, or one of the other ones, you, you kind of hit it and it really gets up and goes. But with this yeah. one, you can kind of use your swing, use your body yeah. and uh, it, it just feels really like a tennis racket. Honestly, the closest thing that I've felt. Yeah. yeah. How did you feel? Yeah, the returns, I go for a slice return yeah. typically. So I look for a paddle that gives a lot of spin, that has a lot of grit. And this fulfilled, you know, it checked all the boxes for me in terms of the yeah. spin. Very, very spinny paddle. Plus I feel like, as you said, the 20 millimeters allows the ball to sink in a little bit more so that you can really craft and shape that yeah. ball. And what I was noticing from your returns as well mm. is they were very deep and mm. they were very accurate. Yeah. And I think that may have been because, you know, you were able to guide it a lot more. Yeah. Um, and yeah, great depth you were getting on those returns with that paddle. Yeah. Yeah. So last thing we'll talk about is the block. When you were driving at me, you were hitting with the uh, Invicta Power Air. And as I was blocking your shot, I mean, you were hitting some missiles. And I noticed that with this paddle here, the Lux, you can really, in fact, you should punch through a little bit more yeah. on the blocks yeah. versus for like more thermoform stiffer paddles. You don't want to punch through as much because it could, you know, yeah. hit, you know, it could have a, a feedback that's just too powerful. But yeah. for this one, I felt like because it's a bit more plush, the vibrations I didn't feel at all. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with so the only way I can compare it is to the Invicta Power Air. Uh, with this one, it, you've really got to be soft and you don't want to move the paddle at all for blocks and resets. Yep. And then with this one, when you're hitting the blocks and resets, you can actually swing through at the same time. And what you were saying about the vibrations, you're not getting any of that feedback where it feels weak. It's just got really nice plow through on yep. the paddle and you're able to actually just swing through on some of those blocks and resets. Yeah. I guess we didn't talk about dinks too much when we hit the cross court dinks. How did yep. you feel about those? Dinks felt good. I felt yep. like they were really accurate and that I could hit them in the spots that I wanted to yep. and then speed ups felt really good as well I could be really crafty with them and I think we noticed that it was able to disguise them really well because of the hand speed and the maneuverability were you getting kind of the same feeling absolutely I think where this felt the best for me was the volley dinks yeah so the ones where you're yeah. really reaching in and you're taking out of the air it felt buttery to me like yeah. it just bounced perfectly off of the paddle without feeling like it was popping up yeah and again because of the lightness and the softness of the paddle you could really aim where yeah. you want those volley dinks to go because you get to do this a little bit whereas if you use like the power air and you did this to your volley dink yeah it could, the, shoot, it could shoot off at an angle yeah. that you don't want but um dinks feel amazing on this paddle yeah Feels so, like the ultimate control paddle in my opinion. For real, I mean, yeah. control air, it's on the paddle. Right? It's written on there, yeah. So let's do our last little bit on just like kind of a comparison. Yeah, so if I was comparing, especially the Invicta Power Air, yeah. Vanguard and the Lux, I would put this one and that one on two different ends of the spectrum. Yeah. It's gonna be a ton of pop and power with this one. Mm. And then over the other way, we're Ooh. gonna get a ton of control. Yeah. And it's gonna feel very different to what we've got here. What would you say about the two in the I, middle? I couldn't agree with you more or like if I were to put this on like a tier list or if you can get a little graphic up here, yeah. like this is on the spectrum of power and pop. Yeah. And going down this end here is more control yeah. and uh, the plush feeling. This definitely felt like the most soft and the most control oriented paddle. Yeah, definitely. But at the same time, just because I say it's control oriented, that don't think that I don't mean it doesn't have some bite to it. Like yeah. when we were like putting balls away, you yeah. can still hit quite fast with this. Yeah, what I was noticing though, it's a great control paddle, but if you really want to put your power through it, it's really going to grab that ball and it's going to let you really penetrate through the ball. Just kind of similar to the 06 actually, when you really put yourself through the ball, it's really going to allow it to get that spin and that power that you want. Okay, so I think the biggest difference that I felt from the Control Air and the Project 3, which obviously are very, very similar paddles. They're both Invicta and they both are 20 millimeters. But the biggest difference is the surface. The Lux is using what they call a chloric carbon fiber. So it's the surface is more similar to, I would say, a Power Air, which I felt because when I was hitting my speed ups, this felt like it had a lot more bite than the, the Laps 3. Yeah. 
What I really didn't like about the Lapse 3 was that I couldn't put balls away. Yeah. But I didn't feel like I had the same issue with the Lux. Yeah. It's At very... the same time, because it's 20 millimeters, I felt like this had everything I loved about the Lapse 3. The softness, the touch. Yeah. But it can put a boy a ball. Not as hard as the Power Air, of course, but quite similar. Yeah, it's exactly right in what you were saying. It yeah. feels like it's got the control of that 003, but it's got that really nice texture of that Power Air. So yeah. you can put the ball away when you want to, yeah. but you've still got the great control that you're looking for as well. So you hit, you hit it right there, yeah. What would you say the difference is between, if you had to compare the Lux with the uh, Labs 5? Okay, so the texture feels, you know, not too far off. It feels similar in terms of spin. Okay. It obviously hasn't got as much power as the 05. It's got way more control, but the spin feels very similar. And the way that you put the ball away feels very similar as well. Yeah. Are you getting that feeling? Yeah, I think with the Labs 5, I, mean, I, I really love this paddle, but um, it kind of felt like a, almost like a lukewarm paddle yeah. where it's yeah. very well balanced, but doesn't excel and like, it's not like, whoa, at yeah. anything, mm -hmm. which sometimes when you're playing, like you kind of want to get a rhythm of like what you're really, really good at. Yeah. And with this one, it's like, I could definitely see myself getting in a rhythm of like, man, my dinks are on fire, or like my, you know, placement's on fire. But with Labs 5, it's kind of just like, it's just good yeah. on all the things, but yeah. this is great yes. at control. Definitely. And, and I also thought, you know, the sweet spot on the Lux felt beautiful. Um, yeah. It just felt really crisp. As you said, getting that rhythm every time, I really feel like you could find the rhythm with that. The sweet spot was amazing. I actually wanted to customize the Lux paddle to how I usually customize my labs. Basically, I've talked about this quite a bit, but the Hesacore grip really helps me to find a better contour and groove helps me to hold on to my paddle a little bit easier now there's a correct way to do this but i'm gonna do it the lazy way all right we got the hesacore wrapped now we just gotta put our overgrip on all right so i added a little bit of tungsten tape on the edges here added my hesacore grip on here still very very light and maneuverable so i'm gonna test this out see if i like this a little bit better Got some pop. That's super maneuverable. Oh, oh he had me there. Got lucky. So after adding the tungsten tape and switching the stock grip for the Hesicore grip, this paddle started to really come alive for me. The extra weight at the throat of the paddle gives it a little bit more stability and pop when I punch or snap through my volleys. I think something that I really like about this paddle is the maneuverability and how easy it is to swing. With my Lab 6, I felt like sometimes when I was flicking, it was a bit too heavy so I can't flick as fast. But with the Lux, and especially after I added the Hesicore grip, I really felt like I could snap through on my flicks and my hand speed was way faster. The crazy thing about this paddle is that there's almost no vibration when I am volley blocking. Like when Nick was whipping drives at me, I can just stick my paddle out there and the paddle would just absorb almost everything. And it felt amazing to just easily shove those back with ease. So I just got back home from playing uh, some intense games and I added some modifications to the paddle that I'm used to with my Lab 6. So I added the uh, Hesicore grip here. And um, I also added a little bit of tungsten tape from Selkirk on the throat of the paddle here. I only added one strip, which is 0.1 ounces each. Um, so it doesn't add a whole lot of weight, but it just gives a little bit more stability um, and a little bit of extra pop around the throat slash midsection of the paddle here. And then I just added my um, uh, protection tape on the top, which does add a little bit more weight on the top of the paddle. Um, all to say, I, I am super impressed with how this paddle is performing. I honestly, not even kidding, I'm, I'm honestly switching out my Labs 6 for this paddle here. Um, and there's a few reasons why. So number one is with this setup that I have here, I feel like the softness of the paddle really allows me to be creative and hit shots that normally would go out and it allows me to keep it in the court. And I've been kind of calling this paddle my Lucky Lux 
because there's been so many times where I will hit it on like the edge of my paddle and it would stay in. Whereas if I'm playing on like a uh, lap six, the edges, the edge guard of my paddle will actually just ricochet off in a different direction. But I can't tell you how many points I've like hit just the rim of the paddle or I even hit like the throat and it stays in just because how soft and the edge edgeless technology. So I've been really uh, finding a lot of success and really enjoying this paddle that I am actually full committing to switching to this paddle. I mean, Jack Sock, if he is playing with this paddle, it's gotta mean something, right? In summary, I think this paddle is gonna be for players who wanna just be more creative and hit hard. Now, that's kind of a weird statement because this paddle isn't a hard hitting paddle. This is a soft control oriented paddle. In fact, I would call it the king of control, but at the same time, because you have such a soft paddle, the ball stays on your paddle a little bit longer than most paddles, you have more license to hit hard and swing faster. There's something Nick and I were talking about this. You can hit a fastball and you can hit a powerful ball. Those are like two different things. When you hit a powerful ball, there's more weight to that ball. For example, Nick, when he hits, those are really heavy, heavy, powerful balls. But when I hit, sometimes when I go for my flick shots and my speed ups, they're not necessarily heavy shots, but they're fast shots. And I feel like that's kind of more my style of play is I go for more of those quick angles and more of the surprise element versus just powerful heavy shots. And the Lux paddle really helps me do that because it's not a powerful paddle. It's a fast control oriented paddle where you can hit through the ball with your stroke and you could punch or you could snap flick and that ball staying in. So many times where I normally would have hit that out on my lap six, I'm actually hitting them in again with the Lux paddle. All to say, I absolutely love this paddle. I cannot speak more enough of it. I'm gonna test it out more, but for now I am zipping up my lap six and I'm trading in, in for the Lux. So yes, the Lux paddle in my opinion, is the king of control. I love this paddle so much, and I think a lot of people are gonna like this paddle. As always, thanks so much for watching, guys. And if you wanna support the channel and pick up one of these Luxes for yourself, I'll put some links in the description below. All right, take care of yourself. Jew out.